Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about how to clear the DNS cache on your Mac. If you're having internet issues, this might be just the fix you need. Let's dive in. First things first, we need to open terminal. Don't worry, it's super easy. Just press command plus space to bring up the spotlight. Type in terminal and hit enter. You can also find it by opening the finder window. Click on the Go menu, select Utilities, and if you scroll down, you'll see the Terminal app. Okay, now that we have Terminal open, here is the command that you need to type to flush the DNS cache. sudo ds cache util minus flush cache semicolon sudo kill all minus hup mdns responder. This command works for macOS 10.12 and above, which is Sierra and newer. By the way, I'm on macOS 10.14 Sonoma. If you are using an older version of macOS, don't worry, here are the commands you need. After typing the command, press enter. You'll be asked for your password, type it in and press return. When you see a new line, it means the command has been executed. So, why are we doing this? Every time you visit a website, your Mac saves the IP address in a DNS cache. This makes things faster when you revisit the site. But sometimes this cache can get outdated or corrupted, causing issues. Flushing the DNS cache deletes the old records and forces your Mac to get updated info. Now, if you're curious about what's in your DNS cache, you can open up the console app on your Mac. So I'm going to open up the finder window under applications. Scroll down and go into utilities and open up the console app. Click on start and in the search bar, type in any colon M DNS responder and press enter. Then in terminal app, type sudo kill all minus info M DNS responder press enter and head back to console app, you'll see a list of DNS records. And that's it, a quick and easy way to flush your DNS cache on Mac. If this video helped you out, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tips. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.